All right, mama or not, some days it can seem impossible to get a workout in. This 20 minute workout is designed for those days when you just feel like you really need a moment for you and it's a really big struggle. So 20 minutes, full body workout, coming at you with baby in tow. Ophelia's there with me the whole way. We're working out together and yeah, that's it. If you're having one of those days that you just need 20 minutes for you, baby or not, this 20 minute workout's for you. Grab your mat, unroll it, get some water, let's get started. Mwah. Good morning and welcome. I'm um, joining me here hopefully for a 20 minute bar class. I'm going to be sharing this class with you. It's all levels. You don't have to have any bar experience, um, even if you just kind of want to tune in for a little bit to see what bar fitness is all about. Um, I do these classes every once in a while here, and my daughter is here with me today, as well as my, oh, she's on this side, a um, lovely little puppy. So, also, if you like what you see here a little bit and you're curious and checking out some more options for online fitness, on-demand workouts at home, I am running a contest right now to give away three memberships to my online studio. studio. I've got bar classes cardio dance classes, yoga classes, step aerobics, um, some dance classes to come as well. So I'm so excited to share all of this with you guys. So let's just jump on in and start this class. I can see my daughter's lovely little hands here. So Carmen, hi, good morning. And uh, Rochelle, good morning. Nice to have you guys here. So, okay, so we are going to get started. I'm going to, I guess, do this with the dog here today. Um, so if there's anything you remember in this class today, we're just going to remember this one thing. I'm going to take a deep breath in. You're going to relax your tailbone down and lift your lower abdominal muscles up. Talk a lot about foundation alignment. I'm going to go through a lot in 20 minutes. We're just going to get moving. So right away, we're going to keep that core engaged. Lower abs are nice and lifted. The tailbone is relaxing down. Take a deep breath in. Roll those shoulders into what I call your back pockets. If you were into me, we're going to bend into those knees. What we call a bar ballet technique, a plie. We're going to take a big deep breath in. Exhale, breathe out. Deep breath in. Exhale, breathe out. Deep breath in. We have 20 minutes here today, so we're going to do everything all in a nice, tight little fashion. Here we go. Speed it up. Double time. Inhale. Exhale. Keep that breath flowing. Every time you inhale, big energy. Every time you exhale, go back to that core engagement. Lifting those lower abs up, allowing that tailbone to relax down. Four more. Deep breath. Do it quick because the mini can't breathe deeply. Two more. And one. All right, we're going to find that PA position. We're going to bend those knees, press those knees back, drop that tailbone, lift the abs, arms out. We pulse and pulse. We're pulsing down, down. So it's like a little plie. As those knees press back, we're smoothing the booty underneath, allowing the hips in the front to open. Four, three, two, and one. We're going to go back to that spring and plie. Lift up and plie. Breathe in. Exhale. Exhaling as we lower down into the plie, it's a great reminder to lift those abs. Probably starting to feel nice and toasty in the legs already. Here comes Ophelia. Three, two, nicer. And one, down and hold. Get those pulses. So let's talk about those shoulders. You want to bring them back. You want to have them in line with those hips. Keeping that belly button drawing in towards the spine. Really reaching those fingertips wide. For three more, two and one. One more set. Here we go. Lift. Again, you got it. Lift, plie, lift, and down. As you lower those legs, try to get a little bit lower every time. Even if you're not getting lower, we're trying, we're working, we're lifting those lower abs. Third set, let's hold it down. Whew. Roll those shoulders off the back. Press those lower ribs down towards the belly button. Lift the lower abs up towards the belly button, and then draw that belly button back in. Bonus in a little lower. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. We hold it here. Don't go anywhere. Sit a little lower. Lift one heel and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. You guys are probably feeling some serious burn in the thighs here. I want you to forget about your thighs. Press those knees back. Squeeze that booty. If you can picture those two little sit bones, put it that booty. I want you to squeeze those together. Lift the lower abs. Open to the fronts of the hips. Yeah, open up those hips. Ophelia's got it. We're going to do two more each side. Lift and lower. Lift. One more each side. You've got it. Lift and lower. All right. Hands to the knees. Press those knees back. Stretch it out. Tiny little break. Shift those shoulders forward. All right. We're going to move into a little arm series here. So bring those feet together. 
feet underneath the hips. Again, relax that tailbone down. Lower abs are lifted up. We're neutral here. We're not tucked. We're not popped, even though it's a Saturday. Neutral, shoulders over hips. Slight bend in the knees. Lift all ten toes. Press into the big toe mound. Weight in the heels. Little low. Engage those glutes. We lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now, if you've got some weights and you want to use the weights here, feel free to grab them. If you don't have weights or you just have done bar before and you know the burn is coming without them, you don't need any weights. We've got our bodies. We can do it all. Four, three, two, and one. We reach it wide and pulse. Lift. So key here, keep those toes away from the ears. Keep the shoulder blades pouring down the back. Pulsing up. You're going to get more of a burn at work here if you really extend and reach through those fingertips. Lift those palms up. Keep pulsing. For six, five, three. Inhale, exhale, lift those lower abs a little bit more. From here, we're going to lift it up and lower. Up and lower. So arms are raising, shoulders are not. Eight, squeeze. Check in with the feet. You can even look down. You want to make sure we're not rolling to the outsides of the feet. Plant those big toe mounds. Press the weight into the heels. Four, three, two, and one. Now from the top, front, take it forward. Up, take it forward. Up, take it forward. If you're holding on to two sides of a thick wall, using that exhale to draw that core in. Check in with the booty. Draw those hip bones together. No room for you to get through this time, baby. You gotta wait. Two more here. Two, squeeze. One, and squeeze. Extend those arms out. Lower them down. Here we go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. She's sneaky. She made it. Lift and lower. The more you can resist here. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower into a pulse. You three, two, five, and pulse. Pulse and pulse. Even if you have a little child scrambling around your feet, flip those palms up, keep pulsing. Check in with your alignment. You can have to lift the foot up, like I'm doing here. Big toe mound and heels is where you want to have the majority of your weight. And lift those feet, bring those feet a little bit wider. I'm just going to do that. Here we go. Lift it up. Lift high, press wide. Lift high, press wide. Check in with the tailbone. It's going to be a tendency here to lean forward. I want you to bring those shoulders back over the hips. Take that belly button, draw it in. All right, now bring those arms up and forward, up and forward, up and forward. Breathing here, bringing those thumbs as far back behind you as you can. Four, three, two, and one. Bring those arms out and let them filter down. We've got one more set here. Here we go. We lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Resisting and reaching. Shoulders stay pressing down through the torso as the fingertips extend and reach wide. Deep breath in, exhale, lift the lower belly. Here we go, pulse it up, up, up. Kind of like flying here. Keep those shoulders rolled onto the back. Keep those lower abs lifted. Four, three, two, and one. Check in with the toes as you flip your palms up and keep that pulsing. Look down, lift all 10. Press into that big toe mound. Straighten the center of the ball of your heel. Four, three, two, let's lift it up. Press wide, up. Press wide. So the more you think about your back body here, the more it's going to work. So don't just focus on those shoulders. I know how they feel. You can go drawing those shoulder blades down the back. Bring the arms up. We take it forward and lift. Forward and lift. Forward and lift. Forward and lift. So here we want to make sure that we're not shifting through the torso. We want to use our core strength to keep those shoulders directly over the hips. We've got three more. Three. Squeeze. Four. Three, two, and one. All right, nicely done, guys. Shake those arms out. And give yourself a little party time. Grab some water. I don't know where I left mine, but you can have some. Okay, this next year is going to be for our triceps. Options for your legs. Number one, feet underneath your hips. We're just going to take the posture forward, so we're still maintaining this straight shoulder and hip connection. Align, belly drawing in. We're just tipping it forward. Great chance here to really squeeze those hip bones in. From here, we're gonna start with our arms pressing back and lowering. If you want a deeper burn in the legs, you're gonna take the right leg back, you're going into a lunge. I'm gonna demonstrate the lunge, but at any point, if you guys wanna come back, feet together, you can. Four, three, open the chest, draw the belly, and here we go. We press and lower, press back and lower. You may notice here, feel free to peek at me. Well, they're probably just watching me the whole time. 
to see what on earth I'm up to. I'm going to take that back heel and I'm going to press it forward. It's going to draw the weight more into the front leg and press your weight into that heel on that standing leg. Squeeze that booty. Now take those palms back. Pulse up. 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 For four. Three. Two and one. We add in little circles. For seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Change directions. We circle. For seven. Six. Five, Ophelia, that's your noggin. Everybody gets to see it. All right, from here, we're gonna bring the palms facing together. We're gonna push it in. So we're trying to give ourselves a little high five behind the back. Yeah! Seven, six, five. Flush that belly, draw it in. Three, two, one. Here we go. Lower down and lift. For those of you joining me here in this lunge, we're gonna do one and a half sets on each leg. So we're almost there on this leg. I know that leg here is burning. Feel that burn, love that work for the booty. Up and hold. Knee pulse, pulse, pulse. So take that front hip and draw it back. Wanna square those hips up. Four, three, two, and one. Flip those palms up and circle, circle, circle. Here for four, three, two, and one. Now hold. If you're on that lunge, we're gonna switch legs and then switch directions with those circles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one, palms together, squeeze, squeeze. So watch those shoulders, you're not collapsing forward, roll the shoulders onto the back as we press those lower ribs down to the belly button. For three, two and one. All right, third set, we lower and lift, lower and lift. Take that back heel, bring it forward. Nice straight line from the head to the heel. Lift it up, we pulse, pulse. You notice we wanna to try to keep these pulses as tiny as possible. These are not big. You wanna keep the chest open, Go to our high point where we think we can't lift anymore and we pulse a little higher. Flip those palms back. We circle. For seven. Six. Higher. That's right. Four. Three. Two and one. We change directions. Eight. Seven. Check in with those lower abs. Draw them up. Four. Three. Two and one. Palms together. Squeeze. 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 Breathe. Check in with the head alignment. Make sure we're not breaking that neck. One way or the other. Long line with the heel. Out the top of the head, lift the lower up, draw that belly in, three, two, one. All right, shake those arms out. Nice work, guys. Give yourself a little shoulder massage. Ophelia brought me the dog ball. Roll that out of the way so I don't uh, trip on that. <laughs> All right, how you guys feeling? Feeling good, feeling great? I hope so. Okay, we're gonna into the booty a little bit more, so we're gonna hit the mat. Down we go. On our backs, you're gonna let those feet drop and land on the mat wherever the, this mat actually goes. So ideally we have our feet underneath our knees, so not too far out and not too close to the booty. From here, we're gonna inhale, roll the shoulders back, exhale, scoop through the belly, and lift those hips up. I'm not sure what she's wanting right now, but I think she wants us to burn our booties. So abs here, upper abs, lower abs, drawing in together, drawing that belly button in, knees stay connected together. From here, we lift up, lower to hover, up, and lower to hover, lift, lower to hover, lift, and lower to hover, lift, and lower, lift, and lower. Three, two, one, we're gonna lift and hold from here, pulse up, pulse up, pulse up, up. So same alignment, foundation of the feet, lift all ten toes, plant them back, do that big toe mound, four more pulses, four. Three, two, and one. Now, a little bonus here because it's Saturday. We're going to have a little bit of fun. You have to wait, baby. We're going to try lifting one leg and lower. Lift the other leg and lower. Lift and lower. You got it. Lift and lower. Nice job. Keep a nice relaxed energy between the chin and the chest. One more each side. We're going to go into our lower series here. We lower and lift. Lower and lift. You have the tendency here to let the knees fall open. We really want to make sure that those knees stay in line with the hips and the toes. If you happen to have a toddler between your thighs, give her a squeeze, extra inner thigh burn. Four, three, two, and one. Keep those hips lifted, squeeze the booty, drop the belly in, pulse it up. Up, you got it, up. Up, be mindful with the neck here. And we got one to pinch the chin to the chest. Relaxed energy between the chin and the chest. Lift all 10 toes, check in. Press them through the big toe mound here. We're gonna lift one leg at a time. Here we go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. You're gonna feel this a little bit more in your hamstrings and in your booty. 
dropping your feet to a flat foot. Unless you have a toddler on you, then don't squish her. One more, here we go. All right, third set. Inhale. Make sure those knees are nice and straight. Lift the hips up a little higher. Take a deep breath. Here we go. Lower down and lift. Lower down and lift. Third set. You're probably noticing the theme here. Number three. Sets of three. I love the number three. And tomorrow I'm turning 36. That's a three and six divided by two is three. There's a whole lot of threes in there. My dad's an accountant. Simple math. It's nice. Four, three, two, and one. Keep those hips lifted. Draw those knees in line with the hips. Lift all ten toes. Keep them lifted. Pulse, 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 pulse. Breathe. Lower abs lifting up towards the belly. Upper abs draw down. Four, three, two, and one. Here we go for fun. Lift one leg and lower. So as we're lifting the one leg, we want to make sure we're not dipping the hips. Keeping the hips lifted nice and high. Here we go. Eight, seven, breathe. You can use your palms to press into the floor. Allow yourself to get a little higher. Four, breathe. Three, two, and one. All right, lower down. Nice job. Bring those knees into the chest. Give them a hug. Squeeze. Well, you're here, can I have a kiss? Mwah! Thank you, baby girl. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of abs before we finish this off. Arms are burning, legs are burning. We're gonna get into that core. So feet are gonna stay planted, really focusing on upper abs, lower abs, drawing in together, drawing in towards the belly button. Take your toes behind the ears or clasp behind the neck for a little extra support. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Curl it up. Arms are not doing the work here. If you need the support, take it. But this work is coming from this drawing in to squeeze upper and lower abs together as we drop that belly button in. You don't want to be doing ab workout here. It's not strengthening. It's putting our back in a very precarious position. Draw those abs in. Eight. You're going too fast. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to do a little twist. So instead of thinking elbows, I want you to think of drawing shoulder towards the knee. Right shoulder, left knee. Left shoulder, left knee. Three, two, and one. Keep it here for another set of little pulses, or if you want to go a little deeper, lift those knees. The farther away from your nose they are, the more work it's going to be for your lower abs. Keep that lower back pressing to the mat. Let's go. Top of second set. We squeeze. Squeeze. Upper abs and lower abs are drawing in together. Here for four, three, two, and one. We add that twist. Right shoulder, left knee, left shoulder, left knee. Mwah. I hope you guys are feeling the burn. If you need to take a break, relax those shoulders down. Take a big deep breath, fill the belly, and then get back into it when you're ready. Back to a little set of pulses here, or if you want a little more, we lift those knees for six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Drop those feet down, third set. You got it, breathe. Check, in with the chin. Nice, relaxed energy, chin to chest. Four, three, last set of twists. Here we go, twist and center. We twist and center. Keep that breath flowing, use that exhale. Focus on that belly, drawing down. In towards the spine, through the mat, through the earth. One more, twist each side. Shoulder to the knee. Last set of pulses, got it, breathe, 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 and breathe. Stay here or lift your nose, knees for your final little bonus here. Draw that belly in, upper and lower, drawing in together, belly button drawing down. Woo, final eight, you got it, for seven, six, breathe, four, three, two, and one. Relax, hug those knees into the chest. Take a happy baby. We've got one right here. <laughs> if that feels good for you. All right, nice. You guys, we are going to finish with a little stretch. So roll on over onto your belly. Come into a nice little cobra position. So draw the elbows underneath the shoulders, lifting the chin, opening through the abs. Let the belly fall to the ground. Three. Hi, baby. All right, we're gonna get into, oh, a couple more little stretches. A little headbutt too, why not, for fun. All right, plant your hands, press your hips back. 
However way you can just get yourself up safely off of your mat. <laughs> off of your mat. Okay, we're going to hold on to you something. Or if you've got great balance, you're feeling strong, hold on to nothing. You take your foot, cross it over the knee here. So this knee is pressing back, relaxing here. We're breathing, sitting back. Keeping the belly engaged, stretching into the back of that hip. The lower you sit, you get a bit of a deeper stretch. If this is not serving you and your legs are really exhausted, feel free to sit down and basically do the same thing. You can sit and cross this leg over and even sit back to do that. Yeah, this being the toy part. There's just madness on my floor today, so I'm gonna do it up top here. All right, let's switch sides. Right leg up and over. Or your other side, yes. I have no idea what side you just did. So taking this stretch. All right, so after finishing a little bit of stretch here, thank you for joining me. Even if you just watched and took a little peek to see what bar fitness is all about, that was a quick little snapshot, a little 20 minute burst of a bar class. Bar is amazing for building foundational strength that is based in strength and flexibility. So we're building long lean muscle, the means it's strong and it's flexible at the same time. We're building that balance in the body. All right, we're gonna step over, feet nice and wide. We're gonna press over to one side. We're gonna draw that hip down towards the mat. So doing our best to twist, not forcing too much, get a little bit of stretch in that inner thigh here. So bar is based on the foundational principles of ballet. So we're getting that long lean muscle coming from kind of like the dancer's body, is kind of like the way it's um, promoted. However, what I love about this, switch sides, is that ballet is all about balance. See beautiful ballet dancers and they're shedding their toes and they literally bounce, they don't fall over. Um, but in order to do that, you need to have the balance in the body. There's that beautiful marriage of strength and flexibility that comes from ballet, and this is transpired into a bar. Open those legs, open those knees, press back um, to make that technique and to make that strength accessible to everybody without having to actually train in ballet. So I absolutely love this. Okay, we're gonna turn those toes forward. I want you to reach forward to me. Give me a high 10. Woo! Thanks for sticking with me. Hands down to the mat. Keeping your back lengthened nice and long if that's comfortable for you, or if you want to fold all the way down, drop that head. Feel free to take a few deep breaths here into the hamstrings. Hamstrings, you've got it. Nice work. All right, and as well, I know I showed that at the beginning of the class today, but we're stretching our arms out, fingertips drip down between the shoulder blades. Uh, running a contest right now, giving away free memberships to Angel Studio. So I've got three one month, a three month, a six month, and a one year membership for free to my studio. Bar classes galore, as well as yoga, um, yoga for energy, yoga for relaxation. We've got dance cardio classes, as well as step aerobics classes. And coming soon, dropping my first release in July of a contemporary dance class. So all on-demand classes at home for you to access whenever you like. All you have to do to enter is share the contest post um, and sign up for your free trial. So once you sign up for your free trial, you get 10 days for free to try every class. Um, there's a number of free videos for you to check out on my website as well to see more of what this is all about. I would love for you to check it out. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Ophelia, we're almost finished. Please don't touch. We're almost, uh, we're almost finished. Yeah, we're all done here. So I hope you had a great time here with me today. Thank you so much for joining Instagram, Facebook. Thank you guys all so much for joining me here on your Saturday and Facebook. I hope this was all right for you. My computer is not quite as quick as some other technology, but sending lots of love to you guys. Have an amazing, amazing weekend. And as my birthday is tomorrow, thank you for celebrating here with me for my birthday. All right, lots of love to you guys. We'll see you again soon.